I also get to smile through like this, which they let you know I'm getting really pampered. Cause me and her have strawberry waffles. And this is this funny house um, applesauce with sprinkles on top. And she'll probably have a glass of milk or some whatnot. Now she got like two waters over there. She can pick one. So she's gonna have some water for her breakfast this morning. Okay, you guys, welcome back to another week of 2020, the new year, breakfast and school lunches. So for her lunch for today, it's empty because I am preparing her main course, but she's gonna have some blueberries and of course her pickled cauliflower um, for lunch today. And we are going to be making these pizza, um, heart-shaped pizzas uh, for Halo. So once again here, it's just another idea for you all to um, get some inspiration idea for Valentine's Day for your little ones. I done this before in the past. It works out great. All you will need is <laughs> some crescent rolls, these heart shaped cookie cutter sauce. I, however, <laughs> oh, and some told me to get some marinara sauce, but I didn't. How, I, however, I had some, but it was moldy. So I'm going to, I use this Goya tomato base, okay? Okay, we just gonna try it out and see how it does, you guys. I'm improvising here, okay? So I took a little bit of that and some ketchup, cause you know marinara sauce is kinda sweet. So I took some ketchup and plus to make it a little bit red and that's what I made for her pizza sauce. You also just gonna need some mozzarella cheese and these are um, <coughs> turkey pepperoni, okay? So that is her lunch for today. She will have some juice. She has to get it and we're gonna pack it all up. I will show you guys how she did when she comes home from school. This is what we did today. Let's see how you did. Okay. Yeah, because I don't want to eat the side because it's these stuck stains. The what? The side. That's why I The ends were disgusting. <laughs> but did you like the pizza? How many did you eat? You, you ate all but one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. And you ate all your blueberries and your cauliflower. Because I Girl, bye. Okay. Good job. High five. We got to get ready for a dance class. Okay. Good morning, happy Tuesday. Simple breakfast this morning, just the way I like it. She's gonna have peaches and cream, oatmeal with cinnamon and just some butter to add a little bit more flavor to her oatmeal. Let's get your uh, homework over and eat your oatmeal. And there's nothing wrong with it. What is this? Butter, mix it in there. I can do it, I'm not a baby. Well then do it. I hate being a baby. Well then stop whining. I still don't want to be a baby. I hate being me. Uh, eat your That's breakfast, baby. please. Thank you. Mm -mm. So yeah, I, I don't, you know, whatever. Anyway, good morning, you all. Today, is, this is what Halo is having for her lunch. A semi-lunchable. She's going to have some pepperoni, turkey, not pepperoni, yellow pepper. no. Turkey pepperoni, um, some butter crackers. I just gave her shredded cheese because my child loves to eat cheese like this. She has some blueberries and a strawberry and a stony field uh, yogurt and strawberry. So that is her lunch for today. I'll show you guys how she did when she gets back. Yeah. I have to watch the stuff. Oh, stuff everywhere. You drank your juice? Alright, no. Yeah. You didn't have no juice, huh? Oh, okay. So that's how she did for today. You ate everything. I'm getting ready to cook the little one's main course. She is home from school. She's a little bit under the weather. So this is gonna be her main course for today. 
Um, I kind of like to break up the noodles <laughs> before I put them in a the pot. Okay, you all, so this is her lunch for today. Like I said, she's going to have some ramen noodles and some oranges because she doesn't feel good and some water to keep her hydrated. So that is her lunch for Thursday. Halo. for today um, she drank all her water and she ate all of her orange and just left a little bit of the ramen noodles good morning y'all TGIF it is Friday morning the little one is going to school today uh, she's well enough to go to school. She's not running a fever. Uh, she does have a cough, still a slight cough, um, but she's okay to go to school. So I'm going to give you guys some ideas, suggestions for those working parents that, okay, can't take any more time off because their little one just have a cold, you know. Um, kind of what to prepare for your little ones uh, lunch and breakfast so I'm gonna make it really simple of course we're gonna give her some vitamin C and plenty of it and I noticed when she takes a lot of this she does however um, go to the restroom but she's running that cold out which is great I'm also gonna just gonna give her a piece of toast now when your kids have colds, you don't want to give them milk or anything like that. That can prolong the phlegm. So you don't want to do that. So I'm just going to give her some toast and some jelly here. Y'all can hear her back there whooping a little bit. Just a little. But this way they um, get their, no, your black and white shoes. Um, let's do it this way. This way they can Okay, so for this morning, this simple breakfast is just some toast. Some wheat toast with butter and jelly and an orange. No, not an orange shoe. Yeah, wait a minute. Morning brain, along with mommy brain. <laughs> Wheat toast with butter and jelly, some sliced oranges, and a little bit of apple. Okay, okay you all, so now I'm gonna prepare her lunch. And I'm gonna stick with the same thing because I wanna keep her hydrated. Um, and even though it'd be good to put some soup in there, I just don't feel like um, she will eat it today. So I'm gonna start off by putting some oranges in her lunch. And we had a, you need help opening it? Oh, you got it, okay. okay. And I did wash the oranges here. Y'all yeah, need help. Okay, get it here. Basically, I'm just going to today just load her up on a lot of fruit. A lot of fruit. Oh. Something that I know she will eat won't upset her stomach too much, um, especially if your kids is not holding the food down. Halo is not having a problem with that, but I just want to make sure she eats too and eats well today and then I'll just feed her once she gets home so you just kind of go basically well, what your child is dealing with you know they wasn't holding food down I wouldn't suggest giving them um, a big lunch you know that way nothing comes back up while they at school and you get that call oh come get your kid <laughs> 
So just keep it kind of light is what I'm going to focus on. So I have a lot of different fruits here that I have already washed up. Oh, well, that one is gone. Be still. Uh -huh. And that's what we're going to do. Just like a little fruit medley. Those always works. Can I have one? You have oranges. But I want to try those. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day when you see this video. It is Friday. I know a it's lot of good. you. Does it? I know a lot of you guys are probably having this Friday. I don't know if it's Super Bowl weekend. I don't know. I don't keep up with that too much. I'm not doing anything, but if it is, what are you guys doing? You can tell it to me through the screen. I'm just dropping fruit everywhere. I got silly hands, loose hands or something today because everything is just all over the place. Okay, let me just... Toss that and pick up my fruit that fell. Okay, you all. I know it seems very, very light, but like I said, um, Halo does have a slight cold, so I'm just packing it very light. This is just my recommendations. Um, recommendations. Now you choose to do whatever you cho you choose to do whatever you feel fit with your child. Um, I'm just going based on how i feel that works for me in my household so here she's just going to have a like a little fruit salad i did put some little coconut the fruit salad. you'll see it in a minute um some coconut shavings on top like i said i don't want to put any dairy in there to upset our stomach or anything um like a sandwich to pepperonis or anything like that as well um i just don't feel comfortable with it now you probably could do like a peanut butter sandwich that should be okay but i'm just gonna leave it at this for right now and then she's also going to be taking a apple juice um if you choose to put some crackers in there to make it a little bit more fulfilling that'll be great but halo doesn't really care for crackers it's only some time y'all you can put some peanut butter crackers in there just to fulfill it a little bit more maybe i'll do that oh, oh, you know what, maybe, uh, let, let me see. Let me put some peanut butter crackers in. Okay, you all, so I decided to do some peanut butter crackers. Those are always fulfilling, and um, I would prefer, especially when you're sick or something like that, is the regular, like, little saltine crackers. Um, like I said, when you don't feel like eating or your stomach is not settled quite right, these always work. And I just put a little bit of peanut butter on them just to give her a little bit something else to eat. So that is her lunch for Friday. I will show you guys her results next week. Uh, this video might go up late today, you all, because I have some things I have to do. And um, uh, yeah, so you, I don't know when you'll get it. But when you do get it, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to our channel already. Please turn on that post notification. That way you don't miss out on a video. And also give this video a great big like. I would truly appreciate it. Smash that like button. Share our videos. It helps us out a lot. And with that being said, make sure you guys come back and see what I prepare for next week. Have an awesome weekend.